Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this fine tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to make a water redeem or slime redeem inside of Warudo, as well as also making it into a YouTube command for YouTube users. So let's go ahead and get started. Simply go over here to the blueprints panel here, and let's go ahead and add a blueprint. Click on that button right there. Let's go ahead and rename this to Water Redeem and then click on OK. After we have that, what we're going to do is that we are going to make a setup where we're going to pretty much tell Wadudo that a very specific channel point redeem is going to be the one that will trigger the water. So type in Twitch channel, Twitch channel points redeemed and click and drag here, right here, click and drag. And then the next thing you're going to type in is string contains. Once you have that, click and drag that over here and then type in if branch. Click and drag that over here. Then connect exit to enter, reward title to A, and output boolean to condition, like so. Let's name this to water, uh, or actually let's name this to hydrate. So that's, so pretty much what this is saying is that when the channel point that's named this, which is hydrate, if it's true or false, but for this case, we want to focus on true. We're going to type in liquid, launch liquid at character. And then here, um, now you notice that it doesn't say water only, not launch water, it's launch liquid. Uh, pretty much with water though, you can customize these settings to how you like. So you can turn this either to water, which is the default settings, or you can change it into a slime one instead, or whatever um, stuff that you want. I don't know, like honey, is honey a liquid? Anyways, um, if true, then, uh, connect it to enter and then target character, go ahead and set that to your character. And then pretty much, um, from here to the, uh, from, you can say where is the war going to be coming from. So whether it could be above your head or it could be pretty much the default saying is where no matter where your camera is rotated, the war will just hit your face or something like that. So, you know, it's to whatever you want. You can even have it where it's coming from like a scene object. Like, for example, I can go over here to assets, click add asset, uh, click over to miscellaneous anchor. And this anchor, we can rename this to a uh, water point. And then click OK, and then you know rotate, you know move uh, with the scroll wheel and such, you know click with the arrows, click and drag like so, and then we can pretty much have it where the war comes from this area instead if you want to be that specific. So back to blueprints here, I'm going to have it where it's from the scene object. Set that scene object to water point, and then you can have it where it could be to somewhere specific. It could be either random, or I can set it to human body bone and have it be point at my head or my chest or somewhere, you know? I'll probably have it to my head, so... And then, pretty much, you can press enter, and there you go. Freaking water. Ah! Wah, 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 wah. There you go. So pretty much you can um, do that. Again, if you want it to be above your head, simply uh, change it from scene object to above character's head if you want. So I could just do that and then click enter and then ow, 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 ow. Now, as you probably also know, because this is something I do want to point out as uh, someone was kind of struggling, a client of mine was struggling with this. You notice how the, that a bit of my head is kind of clipping on top. Now, while 3D clipping is natural, there is actually a way you can kind of fine tune like the endpoint of the water. Simply go over to assets here, click on character, then go over, uh, once this is loaded, go over to ragdoll. Don't, um, you can, yeah, let me see, uh, edit ragdoll. Yeah, you just edit ragdoll. Don't turn this on. Don't. Well, actually, it's going to be on uh, while we're editing it, but don't have this permanently on because you'll have mocap issues. Uh, but we'll have it on temporarily. Once you click on that, uh, again, just going back, edit ragdoll button here. And then uh, from here in the head, we can actually make it where the scaling of the collider is bigger. Uh, so I can do this. I can change the height. 
uh, like so, like just for example, or I can even adjust like the, um, like how tall it is. So this allows you to have much more fine tuning on how like in water though, uh, things can interact with your model, like whether it's water or whether it's like props or stuff, you know, this is a collider that whenever something's going to hit your avatar or interact. Yeah. It's, it's this thing right here. So there you go. And then when you're finished editing um, to what you want, you just press the done button and make sure that ragdoll is set to no. Otherwise, again, your mocap will probably be struggling at times. And then uh, click on enter here and then boom, as you can see, it now corrects uh, where the water is going to hit your avatar. Again, it can apply to anything else, but you know, you can do that. Um, now, uh, in order to turn this into a slime redeem, if you want, uh, simply we can start off, um, actually because of how long this node is, we can actually type in invoke. So invoke flow can allow you to pretty much have like a button to trigger it. This is so that way it's a little bit convenient. So as we go down the settings, we can just bring this little node with us. So that way, uh, for example, if I'm going to change the color from this to, let's say like green or something, I can press invoke and pretty much quickly review the settings. Um, there is also another way you could probably make it spam itself if you want. I don't recommend it for low-end PCs though. Um, but pretty much you can increase the wait time by the way. You can make it like 15 so it allows you a little bit more time to quickly edit. Just to make sure, again, we're, we're not crashing too many PCs here. But then again, keep in mind too, um, if you are a low-end PC, cause, um, or even... Like even if you're a high end PC, if you've no, if you notice any lagging with the slot, like with the liquid node, you may want to get rid of the liquid because I've had experiences where it lags like crazy on my end, uh, where I can't even use it. So just be careful when using it. It it does use a lot of GPU. Um, but here I can change the color. I can even change the reflectiveness, um, like so, and then maybe make the emissive color. Yeah, like, you know. Like, you know, make these all like green pretty much as a start. And then what I can do is then I can adjust the wa uh, the liquid to, let's say, you know, we could probably make it like slower. Uh, we can change the radius. Maybe not that high. Maybe not that high. Maybe like a little lower like that. And then we can make the friction a bit like higher because friction will make it where it's a bit more slower. And precision, we can make it maybe um maybe a bit like two or something like that you know and from here like you're starting to see it's a bit like slime like you can even change the um material uh the sort of the material of the slime as well you know adjusting the roughness here or scattering so it's like not as like um, how do I say? It's not too watery? I don't know. But you can kind of, like, just, like, observe how I am, like, adjusting the settings. Again, I don't know, like, personally, I don't know the exact, like, the exact, exact, uh, thing, like, what they actually, like, do. I just kind of just click and drag until it's to what I like, pretty much. So, you know. And then surface tension, I can just increase that. And then just keep clicking on invoke. And as you can see, you have a bit more of a slime material going on uh, for your setup. And of course, you know, um, you can have it where it pushes against your avatar or not. That's, you know, you can do that. Like if your character is going to be leaning or not going to be leaning like that. So yeah. But pretty much, you know, again, you just, you know, edit the things. You kind of experiment with it. Even if you break something, it's perfectly fine if you break it because you're just learning. So, you know, that's how you can make it into a slime. And I can, of course, rename the redeem to slime right here, like so. Now, I can also, um, let me actually just hold the control button here. Control C, then Control V. And let me go ahead and bring in another liquid. Just so you can kind of see, like, the comparison between the default one and the one that we've edited for slime. So, we'll call that one Hydrate. Like so. And then, let's again go ahead, um, let's make this, the timer to be five seconds. Uh, actually, we'll do, I'll do three for demonstration, but you may want to increase it. 
uh, here, we'll do scene object, water point, and then over here, we'll set that to head. So just to just show you a comparison, here's the water redeem that's, you know, default in water though. Uh, again, very pretty water. And then here's the slime that I've edited. Again, you can, of course, reference or copy. I don't care what you do. Uh, press enter. And then you can just see how it's like, you know, slime-like. Again, you know, um, of course, fine-tuned to how you want it, but you get an idea that that's how you can do slime and that's how you can do water. Now, of course, um, besides this, you know, being Twitch, what about for those who are YouTube? Well, in order to turn this into YouTube, uh, we can actually go ahead and take this, duplicate this blueprint and uh, rename it. We'll go ahead and type in YouTube and then click OK. And then here, all we have to do is that we need to delete the Twitch channel point redeem. So delete that. Type in YouTube and then use the chat receive. So I'm going to put it in both of these. And then exit to enter, exit to enter like that. And then message to A and then message to A as well. And then all we have to do for this one is do exclamation mark water. And then this one's going to be exclamation mark slime. Just like that and pretty much that you just made a YouTube command so that way if your chat wants to spam you with water you can uh, do that if you like but otherwise though uh, pretty much like in a nutshell that is again how you can set up for YouTube um, I personally recommend if you do want to have something like a channel point system but for Twitch I will leave uh, two tutorials in the description below on how to set up streamer bot that actually can allow you to do a point system for other programs like mix it up or uh, Firebot or something like that i don't know a way of doing the loyalty points so sorry about that um but again i use streamer bot for my streams because of the youtube loyalty point system so you you know you can check that out if you like but otherwise though um i do want to also one last thing before I leave is to remind you guys to make sure at the bottom left here go to your settings and make sure that your twitch and your YouTube is connected now keep in mind that for YouTube when you press on yes this window will appear now for the time being of this tutorial being made this window cannot be removed unless you click on the no button right here to turn it off so please keep that in mind that if you want to use YouTube this annoying pop-up is gonna happen even if you press on X it's just gonna keep happening and happening so uh, again, if you don't like this pop-up, you could, of course, again, do what I do on StreamerBot, where I have StreamerBot, like, fully minimized and my, um, the bottom right of my PC there, if you want. But otherwise, though, uh, that's pretty much it in terms of YouTube and Twitch Redeem, um, YouTube command and Twitch Redeem for how to make a war redeem and also a slime redeem as well. I hope that this tutorial helps you out on getting the basics. Have fun VTubing out there and have a lovely day. Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye.